Here's what we're gonna do for any of y'all who missed this. So the other day, Garp puts out a tweet saying, give me your hottest anime takes. Am I gonna sit here and give him some pussy ass? Absolutely not. Bro asked for one, I gave him 25. Bro's gonna react to my tweets. Well, I'm gonna react to your reaction on my tweets, okay? And we'll we'll see who the big dog is here, Mr. Garp Giguk. Okay, step away from Genshin Impact. And let's see the type of man you are, a man that I once idolized. Let's see how you think, big dog. I'll go through some of them. I won't go through every one of them. Why not? But I'll go I'll go through <clears throat> some of them. Let's see. Oh my god. Yep. Scroll. Oh my god. Yep, hey, you asked. What is this? Yes, sir. What is this? Yep. <clears throat> Bro, is someone getting cancelled up in here? Yes. It, it keeps going. Yep. It, ke it keeps going. Yeah, hey, 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 guard. <clears throat> guard, guard, guard. I'll be in Japan in January, if you ever want to talk. I made all this in 30 minutes. Imagine what I could do in two hours, okay? I'll be in Japan in January. Let's begin. Did Blood declare war against the entire anime community? Yes, I did. Yo, I'm happy for you, or I'm sorry for your loss, but I ain't <laughs> reading all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll speed. We'll here's speed. A, here's the thing, man. Once you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back. I guarantee you he read all of them. On this, unless there's something that really, unless there's something that uh, really catches catches my eye. Number uh, one, Deku should have been killed off far early in the show. Yep. And the one, uh, Deku, he's the main character. <clears throat> yep. And the one for all should have been passed to Lemillion due yep. to him being a far more complete of a character. Fuck I mean, Absolutely fuck him. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're cooking there. All right, let me tell you what I'm cooking. Deku wasn't working out, buddy. End of service, his ass. They do this shit all the time in professional wrestling. Somebody sucks. Get rid of them. Go again. Lamillion is just cooler. He's way easier to cheer for, and hope that he overcomes. They already have the story about how he was the original person that All Might wanted to be his predecessor. We already went there, buddy. Just commit. Deku sucked at the beginning. He sucked in the middle, and guess what, bud? The show's over. He sucked at the end. He started the pussy. He ended the pussy. He blows. Tech, that's not that's that's not a nuclear take. That's just that's just a weird take. Nah, nah. It's the correct take. There are, in my opinions, a lots of characters that are far more interesting than Deku. I uh, now, once again, Todoroki. Sure, Todoroki could have been the main character. But he shouldn't have gotten one for all. I would agree with that. I think your problem isn't... Uh, okay. I think your problem is more with Deku being an uninteresting character yes. than this random ass... This random ass plot progression of all f uh, one for all being passed, uh, being passed to someone completely different. Because I think what makes Lemillion complete as a character and what makes a lot of characters in... My Hero Academia far more interesting is, you know, the limitations of that power. Lemillion is really, really interesting with his... When Lemillion is on the panel, my interest goes up. When Deku is on the panel, nobody fucking cares. And that's all I'm saying. Kill the bitch, give Lemillion one for all, is what it is. Energy and his philosophy of the world and how he approaches being a hero... Um, and he's not the strongest hero in the world, but he learned how to use his powers to the best of his ability and be as useful as possible. Um, I would. And you know what Deku did? Fucking nothing. Get him off the screen. Listen, man, one for all could have gone to anybody, but they should have killed Deku forever ago. Argue if anyone would have an interesting character arc, it would have been Bakugo. <laughs> if if anyone, if anyone, I think. Not Lemillion. Lemillion's a random character. If, if anyone would be more interesting to no. pass off one to, hell, it's probably no. Bakugo. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. Because Bakugo's entire character is him being a jealous bitch. And the moment he gets one for all, it's over. Bakugo has no character. That would have been an even worse pick. Hell no, absolutely not. It would have obliterated everything that Bakugo was which is a whiny bitch who's jealous as shit, a kid fueled by rage. Would have been terrible. Because he turned, he, out of everyone so far, he has the most interesting character development. Hell no. Nah. I've seen in My Hero Academia. Cap. Seeing him just become a fucking angry ass bully to someone who has deep- Is still an angry ass bully. Insecurities. And, the same thing. And, uh, and is trying to grasp 
those insecurities. And never does. And, you know, at the end of the day, still is angry, still has anger issues, but... You, you notice how he just said has no progression, right? In the, in the same 10 seconds, bro just said, he's angry at the beginning, he's angry at the end, what, what progression? There was none. He just said that. He didn't say that? Or you want me to go back and hear it again? I've seen in My Hero Academia, seeing him just become a fucking angry ass bully to someone who has deep insecurities and, uh, and is trying to grasp those insecurities and, you know, at the end of the day, still is angry, still has- Angry bully into still angry. There's no progression. Bakugo should not have gotten one for all. Anger issues, but becomes a lot more relatable and becomes a lot more understandable. Um, Shoto, obviously, would- be He's the same character at chapter one that he is at the end chapter. He's the same guy. He's barely changed. Be another interest- Now he's not an angry bully. Now he's just angry. Interesting one as well, but I'm gonna call this one- Oh, and by the way, Midge, you fucking retard. He is finished, dumbass. A hot take. Uh, because I'd, I'd, I don't know how you pass awful one to someone else. Number two, the anime community's hatred for Black, Black Clover is completely unjustified if you simply read the manga or animation issues and voice acting inconsistencies are solved. Um, I completely agree with this one. Yep. I would say I actually, ha I actually just said this in a previous one. Um, is it even not? If, is, it even, is it even a hot take to say this anymore? So here's the thing, Gart. I haven't just started saying this. I've been saying this for years. I was one of the revolutionaries who got this take popularized in my hemisphere. Because I think, are there still Black Clover haters out there? Yes, there's a lot. There's a ton. There's a fuck ton are, of are still Are there still Black Clover haters out there's there? There's so you know? many, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't know if anyone actually goes out and hates Black Clover anymore. I don't really see much on my timeline during about Black Clover. There is an absurd amount as a Black Clover because fanatic. Because everyone who stopped watching the anime has already, oh, who didn't, who dropped the anime, never continued watching it. And uh, people who are still into Black Clover, everyone knows this take. So I'm not going to say this is like completely cold. I'm going to say it's sizzling. Dr. Stone's ending was amazing. I haven't watched it. If a show takes over eight episodes to get good, I think it's okay if people say it's shit. There is no way I would have ever watched the, uh, the Two Towers of Lord of the Rings if Fellowship of the Ring was a bad movie. Asking people to sink over three hours into a mediocre watching experience is just fucking dumb. True. Okay, finally a take I can go balls deep into. All right. Okay, that's PvP, baby. So... <laughs> There are two ways to go about this. Okay. Right, because one thing I fucking despise sure. when it comes to watching anime uh. is when I watch an anime and then I say, I don't like it. And people are like, no, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't, uh, you didn't stick on until the good part. Yeah, the there good it is. fucking part. Yeah, there it is. And I'm like, bro, I watched like half of the show and it still doesn't get good. Bro, yep. if it's like, if I watch half of the show and it still doesn't get good, then I would argue that it's not fucking worth it. True. It's not fucking worth it. True. You know? I think the big dude, factor- Dude, in this you can boot up Blue Lock any day of the fucking week, watch one episode, and every episode will deliver you the most hype feeling you've ever had in your entire fucking life, okay? I don't need to watch another show to get four hours in the show to get that feeling once. I'm good, bro take is how long it takes to get to the good part versus how long the good part lasts for true it's about the payoff so let's say we talk about one piece because one piece is probably the prime example for this where it i takes don't i don't know about day. i don't know about one piece i don't think i don't think one piece is i really don't think one piece is like that i feel like one piece for me, and once again, you got to understand, One Piece to me is like a 7 out of 10. This, this for me would be more like Freeman, right? Freeman has to cook so goddamn long. It has to cook so goddamn long. Which is why I'm okay with people hating it. It's the same thing with Vinland Saga Season 2. I'm okay with people hating Vinland Saga Season 2. I get it. If people don't want to watch that, I get it. I totally get it. One Piece, I, I think it consistently delivers some pretty good moments, right? There's a lot of stalling. There's a lot of yapping, but like, like for the manga, of course, 
Like there's some pretty consistent good moments. Not great moments, but pretty good moments. I don't know about sure like nothing happens. Freeman takes like four to five episodes. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous, man. Average anime length, 21 times five. Bro, that's an hour and 43 minutes just to get to a good part. That's fucking nuts. 20-ish episodes to... It, it, it takes 20-ish episodes to really gauge if One Piece is for you. Uh, because I think, really, a lot of people say Alabaster, but for me, it's more Barati, where... I was hooked on One Piece in the first episode. I don't know, maybe that's just me. It's more Barati, where you really get a feel if One Piece is going to be for you. I say 20 episodes, and people are like, bro, that's an entire season of anime, bro. How? Like the moment how I found out Luffy was made out of rubber, reasonably ask and then you meet Zoro, I'm like, oh, this shit's fucking dope. Just to see if a show gets good. And I would argue that, yes, 20 episodes is a fuck ton, is a very, very long time. It's insane. 20 episodes, uh, like I said, is almost two cores of anime. But this is One Piece where we have over a thousand episodes yeah. of content to go through. And, you know, if you take the manga form, it's even more condensed and even faster paced. True. So by my standards, that to me is a reasonable ask because when I go into a piece of media or when I, when I see a long running series, I don't think about how much time it takes. I think, is the payoff worth it? Is the payoff worth slogging through that amount of episodes and for one piece i would say yes for one piece the for one piece i would definitely say no i would i would not say it's worth it i i really don't from an anime from a culture perspective sure it lets you connect with a lot of people but one piece eh, not ish it's whatever you know i mean like it's it's been seven out of ten garbage since the beginning it gets hype when a new form is released and that's pretty much it like, when Gear 4 was released, oh, it was hype. When Gear 5 was released, oh, it was fucking hype. But it's never really done anything crazy. One Piece is biggest accomplishment is that, that, that it's just that it's long. That's pretty much it, you know? Like, it's cool because you get to go with it forever. But, like, it's it's never really delivered anything crazy. Like, let's, let's think about it realistically. What was, like, one of the greatest moments in One Piece that, like, really shook you to your core? I would probably say Robin's scene. I want to live. That was a very powerful scene. Ace death was impactful, but it was more so annoying. Just watching Luffy just be retarded. Like, for like 50 episodes. Like, man. Uh, Arlong Park, putting the straw hat on Nami was dope. But like, a real impactful moment hasn't happened in a long time, guys. Like, outside of power-ups, like a really big moment, like... There really hasn't been much. You're rage baiting 100%? Nah, not really. Oh yeah, Doflamingo manipulating the the Barami was uh, or Bellamy was was also dope. But yeah, the, it just kind of just like besides power ups, which is just like oh, write him a new power up, oh, it'll be epic. There just hasn't really been that many big moments in One Piece. There really hasn't. The start is like you gotta understand. We just named five moments out of 1,100 episodes. I could go to any other show and name just as impactful moments in a series that has 30 episodes. And I, hey, and, and that might upset you, and it's because you know it's the truth. Straight up. You know it's the truth. Like, in Vinland Saga, I could name four scenes that shook people to their fucking core in, like, 40 episodes. Whereas I'm struggling to name eight in a 1,100 episode series. Or Code Geass, you know? That's one of the best new animes, though? Exactly. That's why I'm saying One Piece is pretty fucking mid unless you're horribly addicted to it because you've been reading it for 13 fucking years. It's a little bit slow. I wouldn't even say it's bad. Um, I would just say it's very standard shonen, shonen affair. But the payoff, if you get through that and you find out that this is a series you like, then you have one of the greatest manga ever made nah. one of the greatest fictional worlds ever built true that's that's so true that's one thing that one piece does its world is amazing and if you love the world you will love the show absolutely agree one of the greatest manga hell no hell it's one of the longest but is it one of the greatest nah not really bro that shit yaps 
in my opinion, and some of the best anime moments you could ask for all in one series. And nah. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think there's a single moment. I don't think there's a single moment in One Piece that even beats the season one finale of Code Geass. The, the ending of Odd Taxi. The season one finale of Vinland Saga. Like, I just don't, I just don't think, I really don't think it's delivered that good of moments. The moments are good, but comparatively to other shows, I mean, they're like, whatever. I mean, fuck, bro. Like, dog. Asagi getting the metaverse and scoring a goal? Like, that shit gets me more hyped than... Them setting the going Mary on fire. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't care. I really, they're, they're all right. Because I had to wait that long to get there. I'm good. And you have the entirety, the entire length of One Piece to enjoy that for the little slog that you went through from the beginning. Here's the thing that we're all going to say here. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to, once again, I love doing Blue Lock because it's sports anime trash. I'm going to tell you a take that you cannot disagree with. And it's going to drive you nuts because you know I'm right. Blue Lock is main, main monitor content. One Piece is second monitor content. And you all know I'm right. You all know I'm right. There ain't no way anybody's sitting there with One Piece on the main screen for 1,100 episodes. Hell no. Nah. Similarly, I also started playing the Trail series. I am five games into the Trail series. The Trail series is a JRPG series that is yeah. similar to One Piece that has a very long overarching plot. I am not even halfway through the amount of games that are out. Every game is on average 50 to 60 hours to play. And the first game was a fucking slog. But the reason slog. I went through it was because once I get through the slog, I hope that the payoff is going to be worth it. The payoff for going through a much slower paced slice of life kind of story to build up the characters, to get you invested into this world. The problem is, is when these shows that build up for a moment to make it worth it, these authors don't know how to write little mini goals to hit before them, right? A great example of this is Kaguya Sama Love is War, right? We're a little fun moment happens along the way to get you excited for when the big moment happens. And I think more authors need to take that into consideration where not everybody is willing to sit through boring tedium for fucking two hours to get to a cool moment. I really hope that payoff is going to be worth it. And it absolutely was. Like, for example, Vinland Saga season two, okay? Just cucking you on, is he just going to say fuck it? Is he just going to go back to how he was? Is he going to pick it up? Is he going to draw the blade? Is he going to do it? Ah, I guess we'll see. Who knows? Will he get to that moment? Who knows? And I think that that is a reasonable art. Bro just mentions the same three animes. Yeah, you want to know why? Because it's one of the fucking best of all time. You're goddamn right. I will be shilling Vinland Saga my whole life. To get for the payoff that was presented on the flip side. Okay, bro, I get why you like One Piece yapping this damn much, bro. Come on, get on with it, man. I've also watched 12 episode shows that I have dropped six or eight episodes in. And people are like, bro, you did not get to the good bit. You, di you, you didn't even give it a chance, bro. What the hell? And I'm like, bro, it's like, I, I, if I've watched half, if I've watched half of this show and it still isn't even close to hitting, you are, you are in, you are, you are in full copium mode. You know, you, you are, <laughs> it is, it is fine to say, I think it is absolutely fine to say this show just wasn't for you. <laughs> Hot take. Oshinoko is the best family dynamic in anime and manga history. Emphasis on family. So wholesome. So quaint. Cold ass take, man. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Cold ass take. So I think that people sometimes are far too forgiving of shows that have have like a dead run and then have like one or two, like that one moment that's just like, yo, that was that was fucking fire. Um, yeah. And I think it's totally fair for. Fair. You know, it's totally fair. This is why Genshin Impact storytelling will always be shit. Four or five hours of yapping to get to one cool moment for a character you'll never see again. Wow.
for Connor to say that 86 wasn't for me. Yeah. I think he watched enough episodes to uh, completely gauge that it just wasn't for him. You know, it just it just wasn't for him. I, I, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think Connor also watched enough episodes of Oshinoko to say, hey, I just didn't like it. It wasn't for me. He watched like a good six, maybe more episodes. Maybe he watched like 12 episodes or some shit. So I would say this take, I would say a lot of people agree with this number four take. I'd say Tectone was uh, sizzling with that take. You're welcome. It's not the revolutionary, most revolutionary take in the world. I'd say it's sizzling. I'd say it's sizzling with that take. Cause I do agree with that take. But it's not the hottest take in the You're world. Good. Recommending someone One Piece f f as a first anime is the product of being a bad friend. Yep. God. Yeah, you like that? After I just went off on how much it was worth it. No, no, no. <laughs> after I, after I just went Read off the rest. with how much I fucking read it. Uh, in a thousand and a hundred episodes of watching One Piece, you get delivered a slightly above par viewing experience, Keep going. bro. Keep going. Keep going. Bro. Keep going. Keep going. What? In that same time, you could have watched 20 to 30 other anime in completion and yep. have a far better understanding of the genre as a whole and have a far better... <laughs> Uh, and have a far greater appreciation for yep. the next shows to come. Yep. Go ahead. Bro. Go ahead. Tell me I'm wrong. You know I'm right. W take? Dub yep. Nah, he's yep. right. Yep. Here's the thing. Okay. If here we, we go. change One Piece anime yep. to One Piece manga, would you still agree with this take? Yep. I would say Absolutely I would. that this is a hot take. This 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 is absolutely a hot take. It's a correct take. <clears throat> It's the correct this, take. This, to me, is absolutely a hot take. Uh, because we don't think, just because... I can't believe this one's the one that's considered a hot take. I think this one's just a fucking correct take, but all right. Because this... Tell me that I'm just right. Just because you recommend a friend One Piece doesn't mean that they only have to watch One Piece. It doesn't mean that they only have to watch One Piece. Yes, but that's how people are. You say, watch this anime. They go, okay, and they will sit there and they will binge the whole thing. It's very hard to balance between show to show. That's why a lot of people fall out of love of series when it's updated weekly. They want to be able to binge shit. One Piece is not a race. It is a marathon, my guy. It is a fucking marathon. You can, you can watch it arcs at the time. You know, sometimes you need to take a break from... Sometimes you finish an arc and you just... You can't binge a thousand episodes. That's why I don't recommend people One Piece. I dare you to find me a clip of me recommending that shit to somebody. Find me a clip of me recommending that shit to anybody. You need to take a break for a while, man. Sometimes, sometimes you just need you just need to take a break. And That's it, not how and I it's am. It's fine to watch other stuff. I it's took a break and never came back. True, just like your mother. More sh more than one show at once, and then come back to One Piece. But you know what the great thing about One Piece is? What's that? The great thing about One Piece is because uh. it's always going to be there it is always going to be there okay all right okay it is always going to be there yeah so's picking up a new anime you just go watch something else new anime always happens you don't need one piece when you need it and in terms of like the first anime i think one piece hell no maybe not anime but hell definitely no. manga hell no <laughs> i mean one, one piece is just a great one piece is just a great Great, uh, great show in general. I, I don't no. see anything wrong Cap. with recommending One Piece as just a show. Maybe it's not Terrible. the best one. It's awful. Maybe it's not just like... It's you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you the show that is the good anime to recommend somebody to get into the genre? You ready for this? Incoming Trues, Incoming Based, Incoming Ws. The best show to recommend someone getting into the genre. Death Note. We all know it. It's the truth. Easy concept. And it's a fantasy that everybody has. We all know it's the goddamn truth. It's short, it's simple, to the point, and it leaves you wanting more, baby boy. Death Note is the greatest gateway anime ever. And because they fumbled the season two finale, it gets people being like, what the fuck? On something to talk about. Because it's controversial. It's not the number one best recommendation you go for as the first one. But as a bad recommendation, I mean, how many people have already gotten into One Piece because of the live action adaptation, which already condensed One Piece a little?
Yeah, and I bet you they dropped it too. A little bit. The biggest problem with the anime is the pacing issues, and that could easily get solved with the remake. And let me tell you why One Piece is not a gateway anime. Because by the time you get to episode 900, you're probably fucking dead. There's nowhere to go. You can't go to the gateway because you're fucking dead. Or the manga, or even the fucking live action show, you know? I would say this is a hot take. Number six, I don't think the author's intention should matter to the community. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to 10 here. I know we did a lot, but I'm going to I'm going to go to 10. Go that's that's all I'm going to do. Sure. I don't think the author's intention should matter to the community as much as they do because I believe oftentimes the author of a series can be wrong. This leads to my here next we go. point. Uh this uh this is just death of the author. Uh <laughs> This 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 is just uh this is just death of the author. Yep. In my opinion, I'm yep. just going to take 7. Yep. The final season of Attack on Titan was garbage. All yep. right, already Already nuclear take. Here we already go. Already nuclear take right here. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> already nuclear take. Yep. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. And I mean, specifically, the ending was Code Geass ending, but worse. Yep. The decision made, the decision made didn't make sense from a character standpoint. Eren yep. chooses his friends over the world every time when it mattered most. They couldn't do the same for him. Yep. Keep going. Eren yep. saying Mikasa isn't allowed to love anyone after him is something he would never say. Yep. Erwin is better than Armin. What a fucking joke of a decision that was. Yep. Dear God, they just erased. Okay, well, unfortunately. Okay, so, <laughs> so, Good. so, bro just wants Code Geass version two. All yep. right, I see, I see. No, 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 no. I don't want Code Geass part two. That's the exact opposite of what I wrote. I said they did Code Geass's ending, but worse. I wanted an ending that was actually fucking unique. Tech, I see how it is. Yeah. Fucking nuclear ass take. Yep. In terms of in terms of in terms of this one line, nuclear ass take. The final season of Attack on Titan was garbage. Yep. That Get is a fucking L take. That is a nuclear take. <laughs> final season of Attack on Titan was fucking amazing. Nah. Was, um Hell no. Nah. Build up. Tell me, tell me that Code Geass's ending was worse. You know it's the same. You know I'm right, that shit was ass! Of every previous season, and Attack on Titan is a series that has evolved season after season, and it- Yeah, bro, Charizard evolved into a Caterpie, bro. That shit is trash. Evolved naturally, leading up to the final season, which almost turned Attack on Titan into a different show. And normally, that is a death sentence for a show. Before Attack on Titan, it was executed so well that it was some of the most- engaging piece of media i have seen come Cap. out in ages Cap. Uh, especially the political side of things and seeing Cap. every different that shit was about as compelling as a paper fucking bag brother hell nah character arc and how the characters evolved over time yeah they evolved backwards by having intentions they wouldn't have aaron's character evolved into saying things he would have never said as a character hell nah sasha's story ended in a random oh dude oh she died <laughs> now her character sasha one of my favorites, bro, for no reason. Hell nah. And then these dumbasses pick Erwin over Armin? Hell nah, they wouldn't do that shit. Their evolution was that they became retarded. Now coming to specifically the ending. The ending was Code Geass's ending, but worse. Yep. So, I don't think Attack on Titan has the greatest ending of all time, but that wasn't so much to do with the idea of the Attack on Titan ending. I, it was more to do with the execution and the execution of it was that for an entire fucking season right we did not know what Aaron was really thinking we only had hints of what he was thinking right sure for every and then when we found out what he was thinking we realized oh man this author really forgot what this character's intentions were be a season we could very much tell Eric's character progression. And then season four turned Eric, Aaron's character into more of a mystery. What is Aaron trying to achieve? What is his final goal? What is his mindset? We, that was something that we didn't really know and wasn't really revealed right up until the last episode. I and don't think mystery equals was, good. Out of everything, the biggest fumble. Um, yep. Because when you fumble an ending, 
It's a bad fucking season. When the ending is bad, the show, more often than not, is bad. There are some outliers to that. We had to reveal all of a season's- But it's like everything, like Attack on Titan was built for the ending. That was a show where like, it was built for the finale, for the reveal. What's behind the door? Y'all remember that? What's behind the door? Y'all remember that? Its whole purpose was to execute a beautiful ending and then it fumbled. And so it was mid. Worth of motivations and real mentality right in like one- Not listening to someone who doesn't know when World, when World War II was. It's in 1939. It was from 1939 through 1945. Look at that, man. I know it. Does that change your mind? There you go, man. Singular scene or a few, like one half an episode, basically. So the real ending was the friends we made along the way. And that's Cap because all of all of fucking Aaron's friends betrayed him. It was it was a big reveal. And I just didn't feel like it had enough time to let um, let his. Because here's what they should have done. Aaron and all of his friends should have turned their backs. Ready for this? Ready for this? I don't give a fuck if you disagree. Aaron and all of his friends should have turned their back on the whole world just as the world turned their back on them. Killed them all. They become the Titans. They rebuild the world in their image. And it's a vicious cycle. Would have been fucking awesome. Fuck this trying to adapt with these random motherfuckers. Hell no. Fuck no. They become the Titans. Would have been fucking insane. Character and let his... Um, okay, Hitler. Have, have enough time. Oh, that's an insane and comment. And number two, you know, I still felt that after the, after the ending, I still... There were still a lot of things I did not understand, you know? And that's like not good, is when you watch a show and you don't get it. Now, it's okay when that's the author's intentions, but it's not okay when the author delivered a incomplete viewing experience where people don't know what happened. And I think that's where all the quote unquote like plot holes or all the inconsistencies come from, um, is that we just didn't have enough time to explain all of that stuff. And that to me was the fumble. Okay, so when there's final season part four and you're saying we didn't have enough time to explain, so that's why there's that many plot holes, inconsistencies and a bad ending, and then you're going to disagree with the final season of Attack on Titan being garbage? How the hell does that make sense? Somebody explained to me how someone's saying, yes, there was plot holes. Yes, there was inconsistencies. Yes, the ending was fumbled, but it was a great season. Guys, come on. Um, but to say that it was horrible? Yes. No. no. I say that the Attack on Titan ending still landed on two feet. Was it the greatest execution? No. Here's the thing. The reason why it was garbage is because I want you to imagine this, okay? I'm an Asian parent, okay? And my kid just brought home a 70. That's fine, right? But not for me because I'm expecting excellence. I'm expecting a knockout of the park. And Attack on Titan was promising its viewers a knockout of the fucking park. It delivered a subpar ending, which isn't garbage. But to me, based on what I was expecting, which was peak, I didn't get that. So it's garbage. Fuck it, man. I paid I paid twenty dollars for that burger and it tastes like McDonald's. Sure, McDonald's fucking tastes decent as a burger, but I paid twenty dollars for it. Um, the decisions uh, didn't make sense from a character standpoint. Aaron chooses his friend over everyone in uh, over the world every time when it mattered, and they couldn't do the same for him. Aaron saying Mikasa wasn't allowed to love anyone after him is something he would never say. See, here's here's the biggest thing. Yeah is that my interpretation of Eren in the, in, the final, in the final ending scene was that Bro was just cosplaying a badass this entire time. Bro had no idea what he was really doing. No, the person who didn't know what they were doing was the fucking author. And we all know it. He was the same edgy, angry kids as what he was like at the beginning and he was just making shit up as he was going along and Hell the nah. biggest achievement he did was gaslighting everyone not only everyone in the story but all of us reading the story that he had a fucking master plan to begin with 
Um, and I think, personally... Nah, that's cap. That's interesting. No, hell no, it's not. Because that means everything that we watched for the first five seasons was bullshit. That the era that we thought we knew wasn't like that, which is bullshit. And then they fumble the ending, which makes it more bullshit. That's another way of saying the author deleted all of Aaron's character development. Exactly. Every moment, every second, just a waste. Makes no sense. Oh, yeah. His character progression just didn't happen. That's fucking terrible. We can get deep. We can get philosophic about it. But in reality, you have to admit, that is fucking terrible. Another copy-paste of Code Geass's ending. I No, no, no. I'm just merely saying... The author had the blueprints for that same ending and still fumbled it. He couldn't even do that right. We've seen Code Geass's ending, and tonight it was great. And you know what? I think Attack on Titan's ending Don't say it. is more reflective of these current times and this current environment than Code Geass's ending was for back in the day. You know, that's insane. Not nah, cap. And my biggest problem, like I said, is not so much what the ending was. It was the execution of it. And I think the execution that was, was my interpretation of the ending. If it had been executed... You know what's great? When you don't have to interpret an ending and the author just tells you what it is. With a little bit more time to really flesh out Eren's character in season four a little bit more, give us a little bit more time to really understand the different, you know, what Eren was doing throughout season four as opposed to him being this you know, super uber badass who seems to have a plan for everything. If we just had a bit more time to understand ending uh, Aaron as a character. Yeah, guys, if the author had a million more chapters, then it would have been better. And this is why bro likes One Piece. Okay, we didn't have more time. We didn't have more chapters. The author chose the road that way. There was no fucking rush. He fucked up. Uh, I think this could arguably, this is my hot take. I think that this could arguably be even more interesting than the Code Geass ending. Because that- WHAT THE honest, FUCK?! The scene with Armin was better delivered- HELL than NO! BRO IS CAPPING HARD! WHAT THE FUCK?! That would have give the, given the nah. ending far more layers to it than just- Code Geass one was a perfect ending. Sacrificing himself. And the really cool thing about Code Geass's ending was everybody had the same question on their mind by the author's design, which was, is, Alouche, is Lelouch alive or not? Is he really dead or not? And that's by design. Not out of inconsistencies in writing. It's by design. And that's why it's... Because it's okay when you have questions when the author wants you to have questions. It's not okay for you to have questions when the author didn't want you to have those questions. And that's the difference between intentional and compelling story writing and inconsistent. For the world. So that is my take. I will admit, I know I'm getting very passionate, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm really, really, really... And I also, I... While I disagree with a lot of what Garn is saying... I also highly respect him as an individual. I would like to say that. I really like this dude. I'm a big fan of his work. I love screaming about anime. It's so much fun. This is basically two takes in one. First one, first part of this, nuclear take. Yeah. Second part of this take. I mean, I personally still, I, I personally, this is this is not a new take. I personally think this is a, this is a cold take that I think is just wrong. <laughs> I can't make, I can't make a- Hey, give me a voice, Gart. Meet me IRL. Meet me IRL, bro. I will rip you apart. I'll do it again, man. Kill. Okay, I don't really want to. Okay. Um, Blue Lock. Not, not really invested in this. Tanjiro from Demon Slayer is actually a great main character in a world full of darkness and despair. His resolve always allows him to lose hope and be there for everyone. And everyone needs, uh, needs a helping hand. He's admirable for everyone. Uh, he's admirable and earns my respect for not giving up in the face of doom. This is 100% enhanced from a 6 out of 10 manga to a 9 out of 10 anime. And I feel bad for anyone who reads the manga instead of enjoying this in the premiere viewing experience. Yep. Sizzling. <laughs> I think Tanjiro... Then what's your hot take, Garth? What is a Garth hot take? Is maybe overhated? He does what he needs to do. To call him a great main character is overstating it a bit. I just think he does what he needs to do. He's a very safe character. He's 
Okay, let me let me reread to you this sentence. In a world full of darkness and despair, his resolve o always allows him to not lose hope and be there for everyone and anyone that needs a helping hand. Uh, this sentence can describe like 90% of shonen protagonists. Okay, you're absolutely right. You are absolutely, that is absolutely right. Absolutely. And guess what? Those other characters are great. You see what I'm saying? And those other characters are great. Luffy is great. Asta's great. It's, it's, it can describe 90% of shonen protagonists, man. Absolutely. And so... Hey, man. Hey, man. My steak was cooked medium rare with salt and pepper on a frame broiled grill. Every other steak was like that too. Yeah, I know. And they're all great steaks. They're all, they're all great steaks. I'm and what I'm saying is, everybody says Tanjiro is a horrible main character. He's like every other main character, bro. He's great. Say that. And that's why Deku's garbage. Although Tanjiro to me isn't as uninteresting as someone like Deku. I think I think he's a bit more interesting than Deku. Good. But not like. A let's keep going. For your turn. Did he stop at ten? Okay. Let's. A lot. A lot of these are. Okay. Insufferable. Fa ah! 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 Damn you, guard! Go back! Now I had 15 more on that sh fucking page. Whatever, man. You gave me 46 minutes of your time. I appreciate that. That was cool. Anyways, guard, you want to talk more? I'll be in, uh, I'll be in Japan in January. Hit me up, bro. Let's go. Hey, man, I'm telling you. We can bang out like 50 videos in a day. 50 videos. We can bang that shit out, baby. We will bang that shit out. Appreciate you. That was fun. Hey, nothing but love for Gaunt, man. That shit was good as fuck.